Hey guys, welcome back to the workshop part 2 of our DRO installation But first we will need to fix this uh, I'm just going to quickly do that, make up a wee bracket and I'll show you and then we'll proceed to installing the DRO This scale up here, I've got a rough idea how I'm going to do that and then the actual DRO uh, box itself If I was to because we've got threads on this side so let's say I was to like cut this bit in half here and uh, make this bit flush with that so that it goes against there flat um, and then drill a hole through it uh, drill a hole through here hole through this bit threads in there and I can I can bolt that to there and then I can just you know bolt this bit uh, put, the, put the existing bolt through that and just tighten it up um, I think that that will work for the time being well, I'm, I'm so going to here's my wee part here I made I've got a wee bolt here Yeah, I'm just going to throw this in the leaf and thin that bit out a bit more rather than taking this bit back off I'm just going to thin this down just make sure that's going to clear that out of the way Nice And what I'm going to do is just put a bit of thread locker in this bolt just so that that gets locked into place Alright, let's get it back on now oh, There we go Felt that pull on that and I'm no... <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll learn because exactly if I thought right doing that man it could snap at one of these bits it might actually snap at this bit here uh, where, I've, where I've got the thread so let's get on right. and I want to uh, like push the air to the right here like that alright and just get one we're back to where we were <laughs> Honestly, right back to where so we were. Just got to like eyeball this now. So this, the wire's going to be pushed through this side here. So I'm just going to set it there. The new. So the idea is, we bolt the scale right to the heat like that, um, and then we make a wee rectangular bracket that can attach to this part with four holes in it and then I can uh, screw it to that because there's, there's, four, there's four holes on this with threads in it so I think that is that's going to work perfectly just sitting there here to the right just a wee bit right, got wee marks there and Right there. Right, I'll do. Slowly but surely, we're getting a thread in this one. <laughs> so let's just check. Nice. Nice, right, let's get this scale on. So I'm just going to push it all the way to the right, you know. Get this back on for the time being. That's basically what we're working with, you know, kind of gap like that right there. We're going to have to drill into this. And I'm no bothered about keeping my original parts in it, and you know, at the end of the day, it's, I'm replacing it with a DRO. This is no needed anymore. But, um, I'm going to take this off bottle and then we'll anneal it.
So I tried to get that hot with the butane torch, but I just couldn't get it hot enough. But I think that I have softened it a wee bit. Look, I have softened it. Nice. Cleaned it up and it's soft. So I just need to think about how to attach it. I was thinking about, uh, you know, milling, milling this bit out flat or just quick creating like a square. Um, but I'm not sure. Just got to put it back on and how we think. I've put two washers behind each of these and that's brought it out a good half a centimetre. Um, and I've put this in the right position. So what we'll do now is we will mill down this bit of steel. Uh, really, I just need to clean it up. It's about the right thickness. Um, and then we'll create four holes um, to screw to this. And then we'll, we'll just create one. We'll drill right through. And we'll attach it to this. We'll drill through this. Drill this. Thread this part. And we can attach it there like that. And that should work out. I should, I should work well. actually square here at this bit. Let's square that up. Nice, that'll do. Let's just let's just uh, get one pass for a fly cutter on each side. This side as well. I'll screw them. I'll screw them for it at this bit, and then I'll bolt. Uh, I'll drill. I'll drill and thread this part here, and then I'll flatten this part of the threaded rod drill a hole in it uh, and then we'll just capture it you know the threads at this point that should make it solid look That fits on there nicely. Let's get this back on and take it right up. Right up. Move it right there. As long as it, I'm somewhere in this area because I've got excess travel on this. So just somewhere at the top. Let's just mark right there. Oh, actually, we want to thread this bit here, so I'll, I'll take this back off and I'll thread it. And then we'll drill a hole right here, we just, we'll drill an oversized hole here. Um, 
I think I want to flatten this bit down as well. Uh, I felt like the tap was going. I've got this big bolt here, but I'm wanting to turn this down a bit and dome it and put a slit in it. to decide how how I'm going to knock that down. I just want to knock the threads off it just so it's flat. Uh, because obviously we want a flat surface for the bolt to sit against. with that bit there, it's gonna hit off that bit. Looking good there. Let's tighten this up. It's all solid, you know. So let's go. Nice man. Come and do nice. It's coming down and coming out a bit. Don't know if you can see that. So it's like this is a uh, push to the left a wee bit. He's just coming out a bit. Not much, but. So I'll loosen this one up and just bring it forward. Just There we go, that's looking better. And that's looking a lot better. Nice. Right, still my wee cover to put on, but I'm going to uh, just cut it down here and then velcro it to this. I've done it with both of them. Uh, put the wee covers on and I'm looking a lot better with the wee covers. The last thing today is obviously to get us up in the wall. To get everything plugged in. Um, now that is what they gave me, but I would rather use a nice hefty bit of steel. But I'd need to mill that down. I only want, only want it to be like that, you know. Um, but I has to be milled down. Let's just put that aside over now. So that bit goes on there, this bit here goes in there, does it? Anyway. And then obviously it attaches like that. Look. 
Well, let's just get it up in the wall with this. Just to see how sturdy it is. See, it's that, it's moving about flimsy, but put more screws in it. Let's put the six screws in it. See, has that made any difference? Oh, aye. Oh, that's made a, that's made a big difference, look. Pretty, uh, that, that is actually pretty sturdy, I must say that, look. I must say that is pretty sturdy. No man, I'm pretty happy with that actually. Cause I was thinking rather than changing this bit, just create a bigger bracket, you know, that, that's wider, taller, that's got more volume, uh, so it's got less chance to move. But no man, that's uh that's fine man, you know. I actually like that. It's, Sitting in a perfect spot, I could just bring it back, meld that way, turn it a wee bit, meld this way. We've got X there. I most definitely need to do something about the wires, you know, look. I do, I need to think about that, how to reroute the air and tight the air. Aye. Right, power. I'll need to buy my wire to route it around the bench. So I've got two wires that down the end cases. So I'll only I'll need to buy my wire and many of the cases to hide the wire. Right, so Alright, and let's So X is working perfectly. And it's set in the right way. Positive, negative. Nice man. Forget you backlash. You go away. <laughs> All right. Let's try our Z. Right. The Z is the wrong way. Um, but I'm sure that that can be sorted. I'm sure you can change that. So I'm not worried about that. Probably can change that, um, and if anything, uh, I can. I'll just turn it around if I really need to. It, but that works now. Most importantly, the Z. Let's get it back to zero. Does the Z work? Ha 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 ha! Our Z works perfectly. If you're at something, I imagine you press that just to go back to zero. Aye. Um, change to inches there. Aye, man. I'm happy with it, and it's no too floppy, you know. Like, like I thought it was gonna be. When I like, it's when I've seen other people using theirs. Like, it's like they press theirs, and it's like it moves a bit far too much, you know. But this, that's what I want it right there, so I'm not going to cinch it right down, tighten it right down now. Because I've left it just a wee bit loose so that I could actually move it into the place that I wanted. Uh, I'll, need to, I'll need to have a read to see if I can change that through this. If no, I will simply just need to turn it around, you know. So just like uh, digital calipers, it's got your absolute mode. Um, and then it's got your 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 increment mode, uh, which that's really handy for when you're uh, drilling multiple uh, multiple holes or you got multiple positions and features that you want to go back to. Like, um, but as I said, I I barely know enough about them to try and educate you on you know about them. Like, I really need to read the manual. And then uh, use it myself, you know. Like, but I, man, I'm happy with it. Like. <coughs> clear. Clear, no. 
We're on anchor mod. Absolute mod. Aye, man. Nice. Uh, setting positive direction for counter. Press up and down until direct appears in the message window. Direction zero. See, I've got them both gone in the wrong way. Because uh, positives this way, positives that way, positives this way, you know. I think you do what is like that. That's that's positive, you know. Um, then it's the opposite for negative. So, I'm I'm reading here. I don't know if I got the right the right bit, but so you can set positive direction for counter. It says to press this. Press up and yeah, down. Do it. To get into this menu here. You need to press the button as it's starting up. You can't actually let it start up. Look. So, direct. Um, and then I want to press... Uh, X. Yep. Alright. Alright. I just want to go to quit. Right here. There we go. There we go. Now it's moving in the right way. <laughs> Sweet. Well, I'll need to have a good wee read through all this because there's, there's, I say, there's quite a lot to it, you know. There's a lot that it can do. Um, but I'll obviously keep it handy because I guess at the end of the day, a lot of this stuff I'm not going to use until I come to that point where I need to perform some sort of operation on the mill and that function is is a uh, in here you know so so last thing i want to do before the end of the video is take care of the wires the wires after dro uh, and then i'll need to extend this wire right around the whole thing for all this i'm going to make a wee wooden box just to sit behind this so that all that can just sit in that box um, I so let's get to it. Not on each other. Plug it in and make sure we're good. We're good. And they they get really dark. Perfect. There we go. I need one across this way. I could maybe put a bit here as well to hide these wires. Really, I had thought. So that's me go all the wires in. Which took far longer than I'm willing to admit. <laughs> Aye. Oh, nice. And I cleaned, I cleaned the other ones up and came up brand new. For it. So, all I need to do now is make my wee box. Essentially, it's going to make a box with no bottom. And I'm just going to cut a wee door at each side. Then I can just sit on top of it.
Gave it a wee paint black and it's looking sweet. I've hidden the wires, the electrical wire, and then also the three wires. And I've got a wee trunk in there. Um, and then we'll put the the Z that's just hanging there, which I'm alright with that. But it looks sweet, man. Look. I changed the wire as well because it was an old white wire and it looked mega years old, so put nice new wires on it. And everything is all routed nicely. Can you see any wires at all? Nice everything works as it should happy with it man look so i installing the dro was fairly simple and straightforward um i knew when i bought it uh the 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 y that i, I knew that scale was a bit bigger uh, so I, I knew i needed to make some sort of bracket i thought that the Z would have been the hardest, but uh, that, again, that was fairly simple. A wee bracket using the old depth gauge, you know. Um, but I didn't know until I got it and really thought about it how I would go about it. But no, nah, it's it works fairly simple and it's precise, accurate, it's solid. Disney move. It was a shame, obviously, when I broke it, you know, uh, it was because that night I broke it, I was just I, I was annoyed with myself, man, and I just I uh, went in that night and came at the next game day. Um, that that that's essentially why I ended the video that night. But you know, um, came at the next game day and just sort of looked at it and I thought, well, I just really need to add a bit of like metal onto that just to continue it and just you know keep that feature the clamping bit. So, um, once I had seen that and I just threw threw that together in ten minutes and it works perfect. You know, solid man. Look, um, and. All the wee casing, I've got that done with um, double sided tape the new, but I have ordered Velcro so that so that you can just pull it off easy in case you need to get to it. Um, I man, so I'm super pumped about it. That's not a word I use for super pumped. <laughs> I I'm excited about the DRO, but because without the DRO, it, it's hard to be precise. Now people will say, of course you can get precision. Uh, with a scale like that and of course DROs have not been about forever you know um, it just makes it easy to make precision parts you know that that's what I'll say of course you can be precise with the dial but it's, it makes it easy to make precision parts when you've got a DRO like that um, and while all the wires are in say uh, when I put the mill in the table saw the wires were sort of just sitting there um like i had them screwed onto the wall but they were hanging around this bit so i, I bought extra uh that d trunk stuff so all the wires are in that case the, the trunking and i man it's looking good looking sweet i'm happy with it man you know now that i've got dro you know there's, there's loads of projects that i want to make i want to make uh, i want to make tools you know i want to make a boring heat i want to make my own wee tool makers vice there's there's loads of wee things that i've got that i want to do with the mill i want to rebuild parts of the lathe that's something i'm going to be doing in the next couple of videos and um, just just making modifications upgrades just and the purpose here is to make the the lathe more rigid you know now that lathe that I have got was a, uh, I got it for Warco. So they had done a lot of work to it. Like you buy the Chinese imports um, and you get it and they're atrocious. I've seen many, many people who bought the ones directly from China and they're atrocious, you know what I mean? So I did pay a bit extra because Warco, you know, they, they, they did a lot of work to it. Um, but still it's, just by the nature of it, it's, it's just no very rigid and um, it can always be improved so there's certain things weak points on it that i want to remake you know so that's things i'm gonna do in the next few videos so hi guys i'll let you get to it all right take it easy and god bless guys
Sunday. Sizzler, man.